to start off, tell us about yourself. Give us your name, age, and occupation. Yes. My name is Jamie Reese. I am 34 years old. I'm from Mesa, Arizona, and I am a marketing consultant. I'm also a yogi, a gardener, an artist. I do a little bit of everything. Why are you here on Survivor? I am here to win the million dollars, A, (laughs) and B, to have an adventure of a lifetime, and C, to build lifelong relationships with all of my friends that I'm so excited. They're all going to be my best friends. I don't know it yet, but. What's your history with watching Survivor? I am a day one Survivor fan. We watched episode one, season one, and we never missed it. We used to, so this is back in the day before DVR, before Paramount Plus, we had to record it on VHS if we had like a school recital. So we still have VHS tapes that say, Survivor, do not record over. (laughs) And um, so I'm a day one fan. And then during the pandemic, my brother and I, we watched every single season um, again together. And we were separately quarantined. So we would FaceTime and then start Paramount Plus and watch um, just to kind of refresh our memories. And, you know, every time you watch it, it hits different. So give me one Survivor winner and one non-winner who you identify with the most? Oh, this is a great question. Let's see. You know, a winner I identify the most, I know it's kind of soon to say this, but I identify so much with Marianne. I loved the way that she played the game. She built relationships very quickly, very easily, and... I, I love the way that she played the game. I think that everyone kind of underestimated her, but she was brilliantly moving her chess pieces exactly how she needed to. She made the big moves when she needed to. And, um, and so, yeah, that, I, it's kind of, you know, the most recent winner, um, but I definitely identify with Marianne and I just love her, how joyful she was, you know, watching her interact with everybody is kind of, I see myself in her in that way. And I hope that I can interact and have that same um, charisma that she brought to the game. Uh, And then the non-winner that I identify with is, oh, you know what? Shan. Uh, Shan was the best. I loved watching her like do her, (laughs) her little plans and Um, I identify with her because she is super strategic and she was very bold, brilliant in all of her moves. So she, she immediately, uh, you know, she would go face to face, ask the questions that she needed to, to find out. And she was always gathering information. Um, So I loved the way that she played the game. I think that if she comes back, she can totally win it. I mean, she is a, she's a great player to watch. Um, I loved that. Um, So she's the non-winner that I would identify with. What's your favorite moment in Survivor history? Oh, my favorite moment, the history of Survivor. It's really, it's anything with Sandra. I love Sandra. The queen stays queen with all my heart. So all of her little (laughs) one-liners, as long as it ain't me. (laughs) That's literally what I'm bringing with me to the island is I'm harnessing that Sandra energy because as long as it ain't me, I'm happy to vote for whoever. (laughs) And I, I love um, every moment with, with Sandra in all the seasons, she just, she's, uh, she's my favorite. I love Sandra. What's one life experience you feel has prepared you most for the game? You know, I, I would say my time in corporate America has prepared me for this game to win this game because it is all about relationship building And I had 10 years in corporate America where I was building relationships to get to the next promotion. And that is how I'm going to enter the game of Survivor, building relationships right off the bat. You know, people, they care about how you make them feel and they remember that. And so I want to make sure that I keep it at top of mind. It is a, yes, it's a game, but that is the key to Uh, you know, getting the votes at final travel council, making sure that everyone 
uh, that I have a personal emotional connection with every single player and every single, it'll look different with everyone. What excites you the most about the new era of Survivor? Oh, you never know what you're going to get. I love this new era of Survivor because you have to stay on your toes the entire time. You have to have your plan A, B, C, and D um, because you it's you never know how the cards are going to fall. You can't really anticipate anything like we have been able to in the past. And that's what makes it so fun is you have to be creative and on your toes at all times. What do you think people will perceive you as? Oh, I think people will perceive me as bubbly, outgoing, you know, energetic. And I'm hoping that works in my favor because as bubbly and energetic as I am, I will be strategizing and playing chess in my mind with all of the moving parts uh, throughout the game. So it'll be kind of like a, um, a show, you know, I have to put it on, I have to like distract them with my uh, bubbly energy so that they don't know what I'm really <laughs> strategizing. What type of player are you looking for in an alliance? Ooh. So I have this all planned out. I want an alliance member. I want a ride or die that is kind of opposite of me to reel in the opposite type of, uh, of cast member or castaways on, on his side. So the way that I see it is somebody that's opposite of me, but very strategic, super smart, um, competitive. And then, so we have the, the ride or die, the two, and then the next two, is, I have to have um, somebody that is a beast at challenges and then somebody that is sneaky intel information, bringing all the, all the information. So I have all four corners um, built in an alliance that, will, uh, that we can take to the end. How eager will you be to look for advantages in the game? Oh, I'm really eager. I am playing hardball. This is it. This is Survivor. I came to play. I'm looking for idols. I'm looking for advantages. And if it's a beware advantage, I'm going for it because it's all or nothing. We are swinging for the fences. What's the one thing you told yourself you wouldn't do in this game? Oh, I told myself that I'm not going to take anything personally. I am not going to, it's not personal. This is gameplay. We are coming to play this game that we all love. And I'm not going to take anything personally, whether it's, you know, a rumor that started about me or, um, or I'm voted out by one of my best friends. It's nothing is personal. This is all game. And that is the promise I made to myself. What's the best advice you received before coming out to play? The best advice, I think it's to never give up. That is, that, those were kind of the last words that, you know, when I spoke to my family and that's kind of what I move through life with is that mantra, never give up because it's never the end until it's the end and anything is possible. Anything is possible. Never give up and anything's possible. Can you come up with your own weird phrase that could be said at a challenge to unlock an idol? Um, yes. Okay. My weird phrase to unlock an idol, I hope that is that it is um, the pot of gold is at the end of the rainbow. What celebrity or fictional character would you want to come out for a loved one's visit? Ooh, a celebrity? Wow. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh. Let me think. Oh my gosh. This is a great question. My, a celebrity I would love to have come out for a loved one's visit is Johnny Depp. We are, I mean, he's used to the island life and I think it would be so fun. I mean, he's got to catch me up on, you know, everything that's going on in his life and I think that would be so fun <laughs> to hang out with him on the island. 